a new hotfix for Company of Heroes 3 just got released today. It's a pretty small one, but there are a couple impactful changes. First off here, the Africa Core booby trap has been nerfed, increased in cost and reduced performance. This thing was mega broken before. So I think I'll quickly cover the rest of the notes and then we'll do a deep dive on the booby trap, see exactly what its performance is like now. British forces, Black Prince, now you can spawn more than one per game. I imagine you can only have one on the field at a, at a time, but that's reasonable. I think you know Black Prince pretty comparable to the Tiger in terms of performance, maybe worse at anti-infantry, better at anti-tank. So I think this is a reasonable change. Okay, just a quick check on the Churchill Black Prince. Corner. A Black Prince heavy tank is on the field. Says requires. Don't say exactly what. The king has need of us. Kill. Okay, once it's dead, it's got a three minute cooldown until you can get it again. I think that's pretty reasonable. Kind of similar to how heavies were handled in uh, Company of Heroes 2 at the end of all the uh, community patching. I think that makes uh, quite a lot of sense. Yeah, it's nice to see that you can get more than one Black Prince. I think that kind of held a lot of people back from using it. Flak 38 anti-air emplacement will no longer be frozen when recruited. That's a nice little bug fix. The weasel had an issue where you could spawn the team weapons without having any cost attached to them. That's been fixed. Though I hear that these are bugged at the moment and you can't crew them properly. So you may want to take a couple days off trying to spawn team weapons from the weasel because you might not be able to crew them. Wait for the next hotfix to sort that issue out. Pathfinders, there was an issue, as I might have seen in my previous patch video, where you could build Pathfinders for, what is it, like one scouts rather. You could build scouts for like, what is it, like 160-ish? And then you could cancel them to get back over 210 manpower. That's been fixed now. And I think they said this was a hot fix where <laughs> now the Pathfinders will be coming in at full, full men, but now they've kind of reverted that to try and offset some of the cost savings you get by queuing up scouts, but then, then coming onto the field as Pathfinders. So that has been uh, fixed now. Which I think is reasonable. I think you'll still get a, a manpower discount or maybe 15-ish manpower per scout to pathfinder situation, but you know, not saving like 40-ish or whatever it is. Anyway, uh, the capping rates have also been changed for a couple of these fast capping abilities. They've been fixed, so it's nice to see. You won't have that turbo capping going on. And a few other little changes. Stability. Uh, some of the challenges have been disabled or fixed and a campaign issue has also been fixed. So let's go have a look at the booby trap performance after these changes. So first things first, there used to be an issue with the booby trap where it would be in this position here instead of down here in the UI. So if you got a minesweeper, it would then override the booby trap position and you couldn't use the booby trap on your Panzer Pioneers anymore. So I don't know if it got changed in this patch or previous patch, like the moving of its position in the UI, but that's a very welcome change because that was rather frustrating. So if you're completely unfamiliar with this booby trap, now it costs 55 munitions, and you can't plant it on neutral or enemy territory, you have to control the point first before you plant it down, so there's no like planting while you're capping. We'll see exactly how long it takes to plant. I believe there may have been a bug earlier where you could plant these like really fast as well. Gets easier every time. Yeah, so the, the timer there doesn't quite match up. There's kind of like two timers. Like the one at the top huh? seemed to get about halfway through and the boo traps planted and the one at the bottom. You get moving. All right, well, uh, there we go. Booby trap is down. You can see its position there. Switch it over to become an enemy. What do you need? Grab your gear. We'll We're get the out. sweeper squad away and we'll run in there with a uh, unit. So previously this would be a weapon of mass destruction. Let's see what it does now. Takes a couple seconds and then it'll trigger. Receive! Let's get Oi! Stop and spread out! Like it was tore! We're capturing that point! Lead on night! Okay, so it kind of just explodes. Previously it would leave a big pool of flames close to the center. 
that would like you'd see like visually it would only look like it would maybe be around the circle about this much but it would actually cover the entire area for about 20 seconds that seems to be completely gone now so if this is all the booby trap does for 55 munitions i think that's actually maybe a bit weak now let's have a look at it again all right round two running into the booby trap No flames. You heard? Get that captured. See yeah, for 55 done. munitions. I don't know, that's a big over nerf. I think, you know, what was it in Company Ferris 2? Like stormtroopers, some units could plant booby traps similar to this in performance. Maybe they would uh, drop like one fewer models, but then leave the rest of the squad maybe a little bit lower than this. And that would be 40 munitions. So 55 seems like a bit overcosted, especially in Company Heroes 3, where abilities tend to be cheaper or free for similar performance. So yeah, this seems to be maybe a little bit of an over nerf, I'd say, in terms of cost. So I want to see if the booby trap can actually wipe a three-man squad, because that could be a pretty powerful application of it. Let's get to it. Capturing territory. Sausage side. No. Well, at least not on this occasion. Let's try that one more time just in case. Again, not quite. Gets them very, very low. Like, it would be very easy to mop up a squad after this, especially if you've got, like, a unit in a 250. They could come chase us down as it retreats. So still quite powerful, maybe, as, like, a squad wiping tool. Come on on like your deeper sectors if somebody wants to do like a deep cap on one of your territory points and then you know if you've got a mobile vehicle to chase them down and wipe them on retreat against these lower model ready. count squads i could see it having application though 55 munitions is pretty high still but yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be able to wipe these low model count squads if they are at full strength to start off the uh, capping so previously this would also damage tanks like massively and do huge damage to a medium. Enemy fire! Now does one tenish. So that's a big change. I think previously you do about three quarters health from a medium. Okay, so we drive in here with a tank. Okay. Ooh! It did 600 damage. So I'd say at this stage, you know, if it's going to do such a low amount of damage to tanks, and it's kind of just going to be triggered by tanks just driving through the area, that it probably shouldn't get triggered by tanks at all. I think this should be like an infantry only ability, since it's going to be so weak against vehicles nowadays. Should not get triggered by vehicles driving through, in my opinion. It's just, you know. It's just not worth it for the amount of damage it does. It's, it's, it's really bad. So I think that's what I'd like to see changed. This booby trap no longer gets triggered by vehicles driving through the point. So now I've got a booby trap and a shoe mine here. I want to see if by their explosive powers combined, you can maybe get a squad wipe that way. Always eager to serve. Shut your mush and move your feet. Point is being taken from mm, us. Looks like maybe the mine triggers the booby trap and kind of get the worst of both worlds, really. Don't get a clean connection, so looks like a combination of booby trap and mine is a bad play. So if you're unfamiliar with these booby traps and you're playing against a player who's really been spamming them, you do have options. You can, of course, sweep them and you can trigger them by running in and then running out. They'll explode. And now, since there's no flame left behind, you're safe to run back in afterwards. So if you're up against a player who's playing this commander, spamming these booby traps in and out like that on each point, and you should be perfectly safe. Can also clear them off with attack ground, I believe. Put the booby trap here, I think. Let's see how sensitive they are. So 
So yeah, you do have to maybe have a rough idea of where the trap is, but a couple of tap rounds in the area. So yeah, as you can see here with the sweeper, you can detect them. And then right click on them to defuse. Very fast defuse time on them. And here we go, we'll try to defuse it with a flamethrower, a bit of a tap groundy. I've done this in the past. Yeah, there it goes. So yeah, it might take a couple bursts, but that's another option. I think honestly, it'd probably be better just running in than running out. But you got options. You got options for many ways of diffusing this. You could maybe barrage it with a, a mortar or something. But yeah, overall, I think after these changes for 55 munis, these don't really make a lot of sense to use anymore. I think this is a bit of a nova nerf, if I'm honest. If you are enjoying these patch update videos, I hope you consider coming on board as a Patreon backer. 